Light emitting diode, which is most commonly known as an LED, is a two lead semiconductor light source. It is a pin junction diode that emits light when activated. Nearly every consumer device makes use of the light emitting diode LED. This highly versatile device offers an easy way to aid an indicator to any project. Once their operation is understood, aiding them to any project is a simple task. This is a simplified explanation of how an LED works and how to select a current limiting resistor. A light emitting diode or LED is a variant of the basic diode with the same characteristics. The key difference is that when the LED conducts electricity, it also generates light. When looking at the specifications for an LED, there are two key ratings to note the forward voltage and the forward current. Forward voltage. The forward voltage defines the amount of voltage required in order to conduct electricity. Any voltages below this amount will cause the LED to remain open and non-conductive. This also means any components in series with the LED will not have current flowing through them either. Once the voltage drop across the LED reaches the forward voltage, it will begin to conduct electricity. For example, consider an LED with a forward voltage rated at 3.0 volt. Now what happens if you attach the inode to 1.5 volt voltage source? Let's say a battery through a push button and the cathode of the LED to the ground. Will the LED do anything? Well, no. The LED will not turn on. But now if you increase the voltage from 1.5 volt to 3 volt or we used to 1.5 volt batteries in series then the LED will light up and all is good, right? Well, no. What is really happening inside of the LED is that the diode turns into a short circuit once a far voltage is applied. This means the LED will draw all the current it can from the battery. This isn't good because you are basically short-circuiting the battery. Not only will this damage the battery, but will overheat or destroy the LED. Forward current. Now you know when the forward voltage is applied to an LED, it turns into a short circuit and allows current to flow. As a short, the LED will draw all the current the supply allows and will damage itself. So you must limit the amount of forward current flowing through the LED. There is where the name current limiting resistor comes in. By placing a resistor in series with the LED, the current that flows through it is effectively limited. Now, the question is how to find the value of current limiting resistor. Let's take the example of a yellow LED. To calculate the required current limiting resistor, two properties of the LED must be known. Its forward current IF which is 20 milliamps and forward voltage VF which is 1.8 to 2.2 volt. We can select a typical value of 2 volt. As per the data sheet, the forward current is 20 milliamps and the forward voltage is 20 volt. And let's say we use 5 volt to power up this LED. I have Arduino board so I will use Arduino's 5 volt in ground. According to the Ohm's law, resistance equals to voltage divided by current. So, resistance equals to 5 volt minus 2 volts divided by 20 milliamps. So, the resistance is equal to 150 ohms. Again, depending on the exact LED being used, the value of the resistor will change. Generally, it will be in the range of 150 to 470 ohms. When in doubt, select a slightly larger resistance value. In my case, I always use a 330 ohm resistor. Let's check this practically. As you can see, I'm using three LEDs, red, yellow, and green. Each LED has a 330 ohm current limiting resistor connected in series. These resistors are connected with the inode side of the LEDs and all the cathode sides of the LEDs are connected together with this wire. Turn on Arduino. Connect the ground wire with the Arduino ground. Now connect each wire one by one to check if the LEDs can turn on. As you can see the LEDs can turn on. Our calculations are good and the resistors can be used with any 5 volt voltage source. So far the LED voltage is from 2 to 2.5 volt. 
I have also used the same Illudian resistor and a regulator power supply as a power on indication. Now let's control these LEDs automatically using Arduino Uno. For this we will need to write a program. The hardware will remain same. We will be using the Arduino digital pins 2, 3 and 4. To control these LEDs let's start programming. This is the program written to demonstrate how these LEDs can be controlled automatically using Arduino. Integer G LED is equal to 2 green LED connected with pin 2 of the Arduino. Integer Y LED is equal to 3 yellow LED connected with pin 3 of the Arduino. Integer R LED is equal to 4 red LED connected with pin 4 of the Arduino. Every mega our Arduino program has at least two functions which are wide setup and wide loop. Wide setup function executes only one time when the Arduino or Mega board is turned on, while the wide loop function executes infinite times. The instructions inside the wide loop functions are repeated again and again. So first we start with the wide setup function. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any argument as the input. As LED is an output device so we set all the LEDs as output and for this we are using a pin mode function. This is a built in function and takes two arguments as the input, the pin number and the status uh, which can be input or output then we turn off all the leds or in simple words we set all the leds at logic zero for turning on and turning off any pin of the arduino we use a digital write function this is a built-in function and takes two arguments as the input the pin number and the logic level which can be high or low now the while loop function first we turn off all the leds now the purpose of this instruction is to turn on each LED with one second delay. These instructions are used to turn off all the LEDs. The purpose of these instructions is to blink all the LEDs at a delay of one second. First we turn on all the LEDs and then we use a one second delay and then we turn off all the LEDs and again use one second delay and so on. For the faster blinking, we simply reduce the delay to 300 milliseconds while the remaining instructions are exactly the same. For a night rider style, first of all we turn on the green LED and keep the remaining LEDs off and then use a delay of 300 milliseconds. Then in the next step, we turn off the green LED and turn on the yellow LED while the red LED remains off and then use a delay of 300 milliseconds. And then we turn off the green and yellow LEDs and turn on the red LED. Then for the reverse direction we do exactly the same programming. Now that the programming is completed, first of all connect the Arduino you know with computer or laptop. Then click on the tools menu and check whether the right board is selected or not. Then check the COM port. Now click on the compile button for checking any errors. Now click the upload button and wait for a few seconds.